do what he does best, which is to throw a punch. Exactly. Now, now we'll go to our fourth bout. Ken Shamrock, the shoot fighter against Pat Smith, Taekwondo, and the 1993 Sabaki champion. Okay, this, I believe, will probably be the best match of the evening. This is the, the two strong boys of the, of the Matt Lassay. First of all, Ken Shamrock. He's a shoot fighter. He's done wrestling. He's done some judo techniques. He's also been a street fighter, you might say. Very strong. I think he's 220-some pounds. Very, very good physical condition. Pat is a very, very strong person. Very streetwise. We were talking earlier with, uh, with Jim. What do you think about this one? I think this is going to be the best one. I think it should be a great fight. I think these two guys are evenly matched from what I could see. I think they know enough of different persuasions to be able to take advantage of whatever position they end up in. And I think that's very uh, important in this kind of a contest because you're going to be on the ground. You're going to be against this fence. You're going to be standing up. You're going to be everywhere. So you have to know how to deal in all those situations. Okay, now let's go to the fighters as they enter the ring. Very determined, very strong. This is, I would say, the strongest comb combat in the, in the ring today. Very strong, very agile, very good techniques. Remember, he likes the groundwork off too. Rod, if you understand, he also works the ground. Yes, well, um, he certainly will have an element uh, that will probably be to his own, Bill. He's uh, certainly one of the more well-rounded fighters as far as the different uh, styles he does. This should be very interesting. Let's find out what Ken thinks about the fight tonight. Ken Shamrock. Uh, I'm fighting the Pancreas Organization out of Japan. I go one week each month and fight over there. My style consists of feet fighting, fist fighting, and ground technique. I think I'm going to win this fight because I am well adapted and I have many tools to go into the ring and use. I can fight on the ground and I can fight standing up. So I think this is my chance to win. And now let's welcome Pat Smith into the ring, please. So man. Yes. And like I say, it does work in their favor. I'd say these two are certainly in great shape. Let's hear what Pat Smith says about the fight. My name is Patrick Smith from Aurora, Colorado. The reason I think I'm going to win this competition is because I'm the most strongest, powerful, craziest guy out of all the groups, I think. With my leg kicking, mean, powerful elbows and headbutts, and choking and grappling fighting, and the resistance of feeling pain is what's going to make me come out to be the ultimate champion. Ladies and gentlemen, our fourth match of the evening. Please welcome your competitors. First, just back from the Japanese professional circuit. He's six foot, 215 pounds. He wrestles in the Japanese Pancrats Association, the number one ranked shoot fighter with a professional record of 24, three, and two. Please welcome out of the blue corner, Ken Wayne Shamrock. And his opponent from Denver, Colorado. 
six foot two, 217 pounds, third degree black belt, number seven ranked super heavyweight kickboxer in the 1993 Sabaki Challenge heavyweight champion, an astounding record of 250 and 0. Please welcome Patrick Smith. Shorts. Yes, Pat is wearing Thai boxing shorts. I think Ken is wearing the, the very simple swimming trunks just so you can't grab anything. That's probably a good idea. And he looks pretty good in his swimming trunks, too. I have to, I have to admit, he looks pretty fantastic. Yeah, a little muscles in the stomach. Well, I guess. I guess he's not going to be throwing too many punches to the stomach, huh? I don't think so. They're having their little traditional meeting in the middle, getting ready to talk things over. You There's feel not like that being out there? Not me. I'm, I'm with not you. Let's you. go play some football. This is your game, Let's baby. Go. I'm, I'm an old person. I'm, oh. old, I'm an old, I'm yeah, an old person. Right, if yeah, you want to wrestle, we can wrestle, but at least uh, getting hit ruins your whole... I told you, pain hurts. So, again, Rod, also, I think there'll be a little bit of, of grappling into this. I, I think you can count on it. I definitely think so, too. Both fighters are enough look pretty dry. They haven't warmed up very much. The shoot fighter is very, very familiar with the ground, ground contact and ground grappling. And there's a nice clinch right there. And that's probably, probably exactly where he wants him to be. Yep. That, that's interesting. Now you see, you see what would be a classic Gracie um, guard position with the legs wrapped around the fighter. Mm -hmm. That is actually a very good defensive position. And holding the man's head down just like that just keeps him from, from changing the punch. Now watch what's going on with that foot. A foot on the back, right where the kidney is, is just like having a little ninja super glue to your back, Bill. That is not a comfortable feeling. Seems like it could kind of pain up a little bit. Well, I'll tell you what, it sure does distract you from uh, anything else. Your primary objective uh, starts to become to get rid of that, uh, that foot. That has to be pretty stressful on Ken's neck, the way Pat's holding his that's head. That's right, like that. yes. Yeah, that, that's real tough. And they're trying to get close. Now, this is going to be a lot of strategy in this, but there's also going to be a lot of strength involved. Yes. And there's going to be some headbutting in there, too. Very it's much right so. there. Yep. You want to hold him a little bit. He's trying to hold him as close as he can. Still hard to change it. But they're there. not Back. trying any really arm bars or, or no. chokes or anything. I think he just wants to kind of wear him down. So, exactly. Got some good, good balance there. Uh-oh. Watch this. There's a foot lock. Watch it. Now, this is one of the, the foot locks that is in shoe fighting for the legs. Very painful for that exactly. shin. Very, very much so. Very painful. Very opposite. There's a good strike there to the chest. Yep. What you're seeing is yeah, that's very smart of Pat trying to at least alleviate some of the strain that's on that ankle. You bet the kid's trying to go for that um, that arm, that ankle lock right yeah. there, trying to position He's got himself it pretty for good. It. He's got it pretty good. You know, the guy with the longer legs is the gentleman that usually works well yeah. on this up. There's the tap out right there. Just too painful. Isn't that interesting? Oh. A very subtle move, yes. but a very, very effective move. It is extremely painful and I think his knees have turned out pretty hard there. Yes, he didn't want to give. You know, take it easy. Bill, you're dealing with two things there, either a good ankle break or one heck of a charging yeah. horse. Now, the one thing is, I think he's he's kind of working with that ankle because he had a lot of pressure on that ankle. Yes, very much so. You ever have an ankle problem? Not like that. <laughs> that was definitely real. The oh. pain was there. The man could not take it. It just it just goes right, just right to the heart of that ankle. It's, uh, it I can't believe they still want to fight. Look at after all this. They're still, still going still after each other. This is where the heart comes in. Nobody wants to give, but sometimes yeah. the pain is so much. Bill, you know, it's that's so true. Nobody wants to lose to a foot lock. There's no, no glory but, in it, but it's still very painful, and you got it. And if it hurts, it hurts. Yes. You have to quit. Once the pain goes away, come on, let's keep going. Yes. You know, it's yes. funny, because Pat was saying earlier that uh, he's pretty much oblivious of all pain. 157 of the first round, Ken Wayne Shamrock. Now let's go to Ken Shamrock. For his views on exactly what happened in that bout. Nope. How is this like the bout you do in Japan each and every month? Easier. Why? Because he doesn't know how to do any submission. Now, I see a cut on your head. Does that mean that he was using eye gouges? No, he kicked me in the head. He kicked you in the head? Yeah. All right. Now, what was your strategy going in right now? Could have been anyone? Yeah. yeah. So now, talk about endurance. Talk about the ring. How did it work for you? Great. Why? 
He came in the ring and he was staring you down. He came right over to you. What was going through your mind? All right, buddy, you got yours coming. Yeah. How important is that beginning, the psych out before? When you did not back down, what did that do for the win? I don't think it's psych or anything about psyching out. It's all about having, bringing confidence in yourself. Yeah. I ain't afraid of that man across from me. What do, what do you have coming up? What are you thinking about now? Thinking about my next fight. All right. Congratulations, Ken. Good luck the rest of the way. All right, there he is, a very happy man. Now back to Bill at the booth. Bill, I gotta tell you, it certainly is uh, out for business. Well, you know, they were both very, very aggressive at the start of it. Here's the replay. Now watch that ankle. Watch what he does with that arm around that ankle. There's a lot of strain on that. Now, look at Pat. Pat's trying to use that, that heel of his left foot to, to cause a little bit of damage so he can't get that ankle. Watch the ankle, man. Now he's going to get it. There's Ken's Look move right under there. there. There's Ken's that's, move that's right the there. Move. That's exactly what he wants. Right on the ankle. Right right on the ankle. Now, too bad he couldn't bite. No. Watch there there's, Ken's, there's Ken's foot coming over to yep. position his opponent so his opponent can't move. Yeah. Right on right on the groin. And now he starts working the ankle to uh, stretch it. And you're seeing some, some still trying to get free. Oh, yes. Yeah. There's just It's such a healthy feeling in that position. Well, i got to tell you, Rod. <clears throat> Ken weighs a whole lot more than uh, than Royce does. And uh, Royce, how do you think that's going to match? They both seem to be pretty well matched uh, for, as for the grappling. Kathy, I got to tell you, if I if I didn't have practical some practical experience in grappling, I, I would say weight makes a difference, but it absolutely does not. It, it it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. It's amazing what a good jiu-jitsu man can do, or for that matter, a good uh, shoot fighter can do if they position themselves uh, to immobilize their opponent. A good base. It's. it's uh, it's most interesting. That is going to be quite an interesting fight. Well, we it have something be. shaping up, no doubt about it. Yeah, I think it is. Now, neither one of these fights lasted very long. So I think endurance is going to be very important. If you notice, Ken was breathing just a little bit. Royce left the ring, went right back to the room to relax. Yes. 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 So that's very smart. Conserve your energy as much as possible. Right. I, yeah. yeah let's, let's look at the chart now and see who's going.